Hello everyone, this is Mr. Elberonin here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on All Might, finally. Definitely due to popular request. I wasn't going to cover him for a while, but I'm glad I have because he's so interesting. He's definitely a brawler, a very close ranged attack pressure mix up character, obviously, as you'd expect with All Might. But let's show it by getting into his buttons. So his regular attack string is this four hitting attack string, you can dash cancel after any point. It does decent damage, and as you can see here, this air attack string um, leads into a splat, which you can't get anything off of with a dash cancel, but it's actually really good you can get high damaging combos if you use a support. Um, okay, his yellow attacks, his ground yellow attack, is really good, not only because it does decent damage and launches the opponent, but because it's safe on lock, so if I put Bakugo onto guarding, and after guarding, attack me. Oops, not that. I'm completely safe after I do this yellow attack, which is really rare in this game because usually yellow attacks are completely punishable. But for All Might, it isn't, which is really good. That's a really good tool, so you can just go straight into it. Since it's your combo starter, you can just always, when you go into attack, just go into your, your yellow attack. Well, yellow attacks are good because they're yellow and they have armor. But, and also, it's safe and it'll start your combo, so you can just do this like completely mindlessly if you see it hits, go into your combos. And yeah, it's just a really great yellow attack in like every way possible. It's really well ranged because he runs up and does it. Like, <laughs> really well ranged. And yeah, it's very good. This air yellow attack is less good, but you know, it gets the job done. If you're in a, like a scramble in the air and people are pressing buttons, you don't know what to do, you, you can't just guard. Just do this attack, you know, it's yellow attack, it's pretty average. Um, his red attack, his block attack, or whatever you want to call this, is unblockable. Is this interesting? It's quite slow and really reactable. It, it goes into this combo state where they're like in the air, which means you can say if I've done a big like combo and ended in this or something, I can go into this and then reset them and go into that, and they need to just guard to block it. And it has it doesn't the scaling effect is big in this game, but you know you can do a reset or something if you want. But, I mean, it's still a great armor move because you can combo after it, and that's what makes it good. Anyways, getting to his quirk buttons. His quirk one is this projectile. Uh, it's not very long ranged, it's not amazing, so you're not going to be zoning with all might. So you have to be, like, within basically attack distance, so, like, about here, or, yeah, here. And, but, like, around this distance here, you can attack anyways. So he, he can't be zoning you out. You're in. It's just like a little poke, and it doesn't do that much damage, as you can see, its max damage is a thousand. Um, you can dash cancel after it, to like go right behind it, and that actually makes it really plus on block, so plus will go with blocking it. And I dash cancel, he can't do anything in between it, so then you can go into your red attack to mix them up. Yeah, it's just a good tool for poking, it's not a zoning tool or anything, and it also does a bit more damage if you do it up close, because I guess the punch counts as a hit, and then it does two hits and a lot more damage. Oh, uh, and it works the same in the air. So, with his tilt quirk one, it is this, like, X swipe slash thing. It goes practically full screen, it goes really far. And he just like charges at you and does this attack. Okay, yeah. So it's not full screen, but it reaches really far. And it kind of it looks a bit goofy, but when I show you what its purpose is, you won't think that. So put Buck, put Buck go on to do some kind of explosion. Did you see that? It has projectile immunity. So if someone's trying to zone you out, you just do this, and you can do it like at the last second. So I'm not like doing it preemptively, I can just like see him press it, and then, oh, that was a bit late, and then it goes straight through projectiles, you don't even take any damage like an armor attack or anything, you're just a completely invincible, it's like being Mirio, but to projectiles, 
It's really good, especially if you're fighting annoying Toga or Dobby. I know really people really hate Dobby. You can just go straight through anything and just slash him in the face. Obviously, it's really unsafe if they block it, but it can also lead to pretty easy combos. If you dash cancel afterwards. So yeah, it's a really good move. A uh, very good like anti-zoning tool. Like if someone's really zoning you out, just make sure you catch them off guard and punish them for throwing a projectile. Okay. Stop doing that, Bakugo. In the air, it's a different move. It's this like tornado attack move. <laughs> I don't know what's it called. He just spins around a lot. It covers a lot of distance, and I kind of use this in the air as almost a yellow attack in the air because it has such a large hitbox around him that they can't really hit you unless you're doing some um, unless they use a projectile or something. So there's no way that they can hit you like while you're doing this with a physical attack. So yeah, it's really good. I use this instead of his air armor attack a lot of the time because it's just, and it has really long active frames. Like this, the entire time he's spinning. They'll get hit, uh, and you can get combos off of it as well. So it's just a really good control move. Um, you can use it in combos. I don't really. And it can lead to more stuff. It's just like, oh, yeah. So that's it. Big hitbox. It's kind of what you use as your Yola move almost. Just go in. You go like crazy spinning in. Does lots of damage too. Okay, now for his quirk 2. It is this. So if I, that was me just tapping it, it does 3,800 damage and 12 hits. But if I mash it more, it can do 30 hits and some more damage. And as you can see, in either form, it's a really good tool for getting wall splats. It's like, it's easy, easy, easy wall splats. So if you <laughs> see the opponent get, if you see you're facing the wall, just throw this out and you're almost guaranteed a wall splat. And it's obviously one of his most damaging combo endings, seeing as it does almost 4,000 damage. So this is what you're going to be ending most combos with. Um, a lot of All Might players online use it as a, co uh, a combo starter as well, which you can if you want, but I suggest not doing that because it scales quite a lot and you can do a lot more damage with other things. Um, and it works the same in the air. Oh, and also, as you can see, it has brief armor frames, so you can use it as a yellow attack as well. Including in the air. So it has almost three yellow attacks that you can use in the air, which is really good. And almost three on the ground as well. If you, this one's almost better than a yellow attack, because it's an projectiles. So I guess he's also a really good counter character to get in close and do his combos. <coughs> Okay, now for his Tilt Quirk 2s. Now you will have seen me using these a bunch, like, uh, just when I was doing combos, because they are really good combo tools. So on the ground, I'm going to show how long range they both are. They're not crazy long range, but they're really fast. Or, they're not crazy fast, but you know. They're decently fast, they catch people off guard, and they lead to combos. So you can dash cancel, you can go into some, like, easy hit conversions into whatever combos you want to be doing. Uh, as you saw, the ground one oops, just leads to like launching them in the air after he suplexes them. And you have to dash cancel to get a true combo off of it, but when I'm playing online, a lot of time I like to just jump into the air after I land this, and then attack. Because after their recovery, there's a few frames where they can't attack, so if you time it right, you can hit them like after they recover, um, and before they can attack, so they need to just guard. But I'm messing it up now, obviously, because I'm throwing. But yeah, you can basically make it a free combo that way. That wasn't very tight, but you effectively that, that's what it is. Um, also, a quick note with his um, his regular quirk too. You can cancel the ground version into any of his other quirk buttons, like this X move, into his projectile punch, and you can even cancel it into his tilt quirk too, which we were just showing, which a lot of people like to use to start combos, because it's a pretty damaging option. 
But my fa my one of my favorite moves about All Might is his air tilt quirk to the air ground because it splats them into the ground, and you can get follow up combos from it. It's really amazing in that sense. Um, it's very long range, and it's a red move, so it's really and the animation is just so cool. How he just grabs you and like twirls you into the ground as he hugs you. It's, it, I think it looks so cool. <coughs> And that's what I use to extend most of my combos after a dash cancel. So the B and B combo with All Might is this here, because then he has his splatted into the ground. It does good damage on its own, and then you can cancel into whatever, or you can extend into whatever from the ground, which is really good. Um, and now that we've covered all these buttons, I think we can get into this combo. So. If you have absolutely no meter and no sidekicks or supports with All Might and you just want to do a basic combo that costs nothing, I think the most damage you're going to get is 3 hits into this. 6,398 damage, which is, is, you know, pretty good damage for an easy thing. You can go into that if you want to get the... If you want to get the like fake reset combo from their recovery, you can do it into that. And to get a bit more damage, because that cost me nothing, and overall be about 10,000, 11,000 damage. Or actually, yeah, yeah. But that's boring. We need to go into the dash cancel combos, because this is where All Might really shines. So, a lot of people like to extend their combos by doing this, or something like this, or this into tilt block 2, but I found the best way to get the most damage is to go into his armor move and dash cancel after that, because this move here, it like scales the combo a lot, so if you do long combos after it, you're not going to do as much damage. So what a regular bread and butter combo looks like with All Might is 3 hits into armor move, which I'll remind you is safe, dash cancel into the air grab, red move on the ground, 3 hits into this. 10,159 damage. Pretty good. Pretty amazing, I'd say. For one dash cancel, a lot of characters only get uh, 9,000 damage with one dash cancel, but All Might gets 10,100, which is pretty good. Obviously, since it's All Might. Look at him. Um. Anyways, so yeah, so that's his bread and butter. I'll show it again. Three hits into the armor move, dash cancel into the air grab, and then do his red attack. And then, oh, I, oops, I was able to extend the punches a bit more. I didn't realize I didn't do that. And then you can actually get 10,500 damage. Just even better. Even better. Anyways, if you're extending the combo even more... Actually, no, never mind. I don't rec recommend you extend the combo anymore because you don't really get that much damage. But you could do something like this. Oops, didn't need to do that. You could do something like this, and then dash cancel after this into the red move, but as you'll see, it doesn't actually grant you that much of a combo bonus, and that's because of how much that other move scales. So he does a little bit more, but you've done twice the amount, used twice the amount of meter, and I just don't think it's worth it. Usually I do the 10,500 damage one for one dash cancel, because that's really good damage. Like, don't complain. Anyways, if you want to extend with the support, it's really easy with All Might, because after he does his part 2, you call out Aizawa, and then he's trapped there. And then you can go into your regular combo after that. Uh, that's, that's not right. <laughs> and go into his regular combo, I would say. Now, I don't often really do this, because the damage payoff isn't that much more. Uh, I could have cancelled that, cancelled that a bit earlier, but it would have done about uh, 10,700 damage, which is still good. But I recommend, if you're going to use a support, just make it completely free, and you still get really good damage for a uh, free combo. So if I go that, it's too slow, and you go to his air grab from there. And then you finish the combo like you usually would. Which is 10,100 damage, and that's really good when you consider that it didn't cost you any meter. And look, Aizawa's almost back by the end of the combo, so it practically didn't cost you anything. 
Okay. Um, some more re a really good way. This is where um, All Might really shines with using Aizawa support or some other combo support. I just like to use Aizawa because, you know, pro heroes. He can combo um, off of his plus ultra one really easily. If you bring out Aizawa just after the first hit hits, you'll be captured. And then you can go into your combos. Like 14,600 damage for one plus ultra is pretty amazing. And once again, Aizawa's practically back at the end. And that was a pretty simple combo. Um, you can also keep a meterless, and it still does really good damage for a, a single plus ultra combo. Actually, yeah, I probably recommend just doing that because it was free and it still did 14,200 damage, which is really good damage for a single plus ultra, and it's super easy. Um, on top of this, if you want to be extra fancy, you can do it at the end of your regular combo. If you like get the meter partway through the combo. Uh, what? <laughs> Let's try that again. Aizawa. And yeah, getting tons of damage for easy plus ultra combos. And if you want to be really annoying, you can actually do it multiple times in a combo. Um, if I had two comboing supports, it would be a lot easier. Oops, my bad. And if I had another, com another combo support like Jiro or Kami, I'd be able to do it a third time, and that's just crazy damage, and it, it's really easy. And basically, that's All Might in a nutshell. Oh, one thing I want to mention is he has really good guard pressure with this. So if I'm doing three hits into this basically the whole game, because it's safe, so like, why wouldn't I? It's just a really good move I can constantly be using. So the opponent's going to be thinking that you're always going to be going into this three hits into armor move. But what if you, randomly, go three hits into instant, into instant dash cancel red attack? The opponent is not going to be ready for that, and you can catch them really consistently and get easy 9,600 damage combo. So that's a really good mix-up that I like to use with all my... is, get yeah, three hits, dash cancel, instant dash, instant um, grab, and then you can go into whatever shenanigans you want from there. Anyways, guys. Uh, as I show is plus ultra 2, which is, you know, just an average plus ultra 2, it does a lot of damage. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one. All Might's really fun to play, I'm so glad you guys recommended him, I have so much playing him online. やりすぎたかな